Hello and welcome to my latest video. If you found this video, you're looking for a way to multi-stream to numerous accounts using your Zoom software. So as you know, Zoom only allows you to live stream to either your Facebook account or your YouTube account, but not both of them at the same time. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the live streaming tool, Restream.io, to actually multi-stream across to up to 30 different channels using your Zoom account and Restream together. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital visibility strategist and tech enabler. I help you to understand the tools at your fingertips, which will enable you to get the visibility your business deserves. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a new video or go live inside my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to show you how by using Restream.io, which is a live streaming platform, in conjunction with your Zoom platform, you're able to live stream to more than one social media platform. As it stands at the moment, Zoom enables you to live stream to one platform. So you can choose between Facebook or YouTube. But by adding in Restream, you are able to choose up to 30 different social media platforms all at the same time. Usually as an entrepreneur, I would live stream to my Facebook business page, my YouTube channel and my LinkedIn live at the same time so that I can share my value to multiple different audiences. And by using your Zoom account with Restream, you'll be able to do just that. And in order for this to work alongside your Zoom account, you will have to have the standard or above plan inside of Restream, which will enable you to add on extra destinations to your live streaming when using Zoom and Restream together. So in order for you to be able to live stream to not only just your Facebook account or your YouTube account, but both of those platforms at the same time, you need to do a little bit of configuration inside your Zoom account in conjunction with your Restream account. So the best way for me to show you how to do this is to jump into Zoom and Restream and take you through step by step. Okay, so let's dive into my laptop. So the first step that you need to take is to go into your Zoom account and schedule a planned meeting. So we go over here and we're gonna click the schedule a meeting tab. And you want to set this meeting up like you would normally set up any other meetings. And if you want to use this process with other people inside your meeting, it's possible as well. As long as you've got your live streaming set up correctly and linked to Restream, this will work whatever type of meeting you host inside of your Zoom software. And now you've got your Zoom meeting set up. What you want to do is go down to the very bottom where it says live streaming. So go ahead and click the live streaming button. Now what you want to do is you don't want to launch the live streaming in any of these four options here, but you do want to configure your custom live streaming service. So go ahead and click edit here. Now I've already put the codes in, but I'm gonna show you where to get them from. So your stream URL, you'll need to fetch that from inside your Restream account. So we're gonna go over to our dashboard in Restream. Now, if this is the first time that you've been into Restream, you've just set up your account. I do have another video which shows you how to set it up and customize it according to your brand. So if you want to have a quick look at that, I'll pop the link below this video so that you can go and check out that setup video as well. So what we want out of here is this streaming software RTMP settings. So this would enable us to connect your Zoom account with Restream so that we use Restream like a portal to take your live stream and distribute it across your social media platforms. So you wanna go ahead and click the RTMP settings. Now the live stream link that you want to copy is this one here at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and we're gonna pop that in here like I've already got here. Now the stream key is unique to your account. So you go ahead to your Restream dashboard and you just copy that stream key and you go over to your Zoom meeting and you paste it into your stream key area. Now the stream key enables the connection between Zoom and Restream every time you go live and you want to go to the different platforms. 
Now, what you have to do with Zoom is that one of the platforms that you want to live stream to, you do have to pop into here. So if you're used to going live straight into Facebook using your Zoom account, then pop your Facebook business page URL into this space. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So my URL for my Facebook business page is Digital Visibility Strategist. Now, all you have to do in Zoom now is click Save. Now, once you've clicked save, all of the configuration for your live streaming to multiple platforms is all set up inside of your Zoom account ready for you to live stream. Now, you do have to do a couple of other things inside your Restream account to personalize your live streaming into the other accounts. So you're going to go ahead and click done with that. We've finished using that account. Now, what you have to do inside of Restream is connect your destinations up and give your destinations a title so that when you do go live using Zoom, the title will show up inside the live stream. So we want to add on our YouTube channel. So we go ahead and click add channel. And this is going to open up all of the different choices. So we're going to be live streaming to our Facebook business page and our YouTube account using Zoom and Restream in this video. But you can add other social media accounts to your Restream account, depending on the plan that you're on, and actually live stream to multiple channels from your Zoom account as well. So we're going to go ahead and click on YouTube for now. This is going to ask you to connect to YouTube. And it will ask you to log in and select the channel that you want to use Restream with. Go ahead and authorize Restream to act on your behalf by clicking allow. And this will make the connection happen. So now all you have to do is give your live stream a title and you can go in and edit this every time you plan to go live using your Zoom software. So we're gonna go ahead and just put testing Restream for this one. You can also select your category inside of YouTube. So depending on what you normally post to, you can go ahead and choose the category. So I'm going to pop video blogging in there. And then you go ahead and click save. So we've connected our YouTube channel. As you can see down here, it's lit up with the blue toggle. When you want to change the title of your live stream, you just go ahead and click the cog and you edit the settings. And that's when you can go in and change the title. Now we have to add our Facebook business page by clicking add channel. And this time we go down to the Facebook groups and public pages and click that. Connect your Facebook business page. This will ask you to authorize the connection between Restream and your Facebook account. So go ahead and log in. Set your publicity settings to as you want to set it. Go ahead and click OK. Again, choose what you would like Restream to do. So you can go ahead and choose the pages that you want Restream to connect to and what you want Restream to be able to do. You can also actually allow access to your groups as well in this settings. Once you're happy with everything, go ahead and click OK. Then decide where you would like to stream to. So you can stream to your personal profile or any of your pages. So we're going to my public page click save and this will highlight my Facebook business page and my YouTube account so those are the two that I'm going to live stream to okay once you've made the connection what you can do is update the title just to make sure that the live stream title for your YouTube and your Facebook match so click on update title go ahead and put the title go ahead and put your description and then click update all and what that will do is it will update everything that you've got in here, but it will update the two platforms that you're going to be live streaming to, which is your YouTube account and your Facebook business page. OK, so now you've made the connection between your Facebook business page and your YouTube account and your Zoom account using the Restream live streaming software. So all that's left to do now is to actually go live inside your Zoom account and I'll show you exactly how to do that. We go to our Zoom account and we start our meeting. This is going to open up our Zoom like it would normally do. Now here we are in Zoom and as you can see, we can see the full dashboard and this is where we can share our screen. 
So we could use the whiteboard, we can connect our iPad or our iPhones, we could actually share our screen and show a PowerPoint if we wanted to. And also, if we didn't want to share our screen, then we could have multiple applicants inside here. When people join you for your Zoom meeting, we'd have all of those people in here. Then to live stream via Restream to your YouTube and your Facebook account, all you need to do is come down here to these three little dots, click them, and go to live custom streaming instead of the usual go live on Facebook or go live on YouTube. We're going to go live via our custom live streaming, which is going to take us via our Restream account. So we click go live and it will automatically connect the two together. So as you can see, the Restream button here is saying connecting and when it hits live, so now we are live on our YouTube account and our Facebook business page account. So we'll just wait for that to come through the streaming software. There we are, as you can see, I'm here inside Restream and this is the Zoom showing you that I'm using my Zoom. Let's go to my Facebook business page and here we are live on my Facebook business page where I'm testing the connection of using Zoom. Now to show you that I'm using Zoom, I can go to my Zoom platform I can share my screen. So let's share my screen. And you can see that I'm sharing my screen. And if we go to my live dashboard, we'll be able to see that I'm sharing my screen. There's my screen. And as you can see, there's me up in the corner. So now you can see me sharing everything, which is awesome. Let's just jump into YouTube and I'll show you that we're in YouTube and we're live. Let's just go to YouTube, go to my channel on YouTube. And there I am live on my YouTube account as well. So as you can see, I'm live on my YouTube account and I'm actually using my Zoom software to stream through my Restream account directly onto my YouTube account and my Facebook business page account at the same time. So I'm gonna stop my share in Zoom. And as you can see, I'm still live streaming to my Facebook business page and my YouTube account, but I'm using my Zoom software to go to both platforms and I'm routing it through my Restream software, which is my live streaming software. So to end your live stream, all you have to do is come up to where it says live on custom streaming and click stop live stream. Now that will stop the live stream. As you can see, when we go into Restream, the preview has gone. And on YouTube, it says that it's finished. And on Facebook, it also says that it would have finished. And there you can see that my live stream has stopped. As soon as I press stop on my live stream, it's stopped. So that basically shows you how to live stream from within your Zoom account, like I am now, to not only just one social media platform, but two social media platforms. And depending on your plan inside of Restream, you can actually live stream to more than two, up to 30 different social media platforms. So I hope you found this training useful. And from now on, you'll be able to live stream to multiple platforms. If you have any questions about what I've just shown you, please don't forget to pop them in the comments below this video and I will answer them as soon as they pop up. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell if you want notification of the next time I go live or upload a new video to YouTube. Okay, so take care and I will see you in the next video.